Hey guys, Russell Mark here again from Go Shooting. Today, I wanna to talk about the trigger pull of your shotgun. The force you're required to pull back on your trigger to engage the firing pin is called a trigger pull. It's pretty easy to measure. Any small weight gauge will do. Here's a fishing gauge I use when I go shark hunting. As I said, it's easy to measure. Just make sure you've got a snap cap in your barrel. Place it on a hard surface, on a rack like that's great. Put the end of your weight gauge around the trigger and just pull it back parallel to the barrels until the gun fires. Now, like many things in the shotgun sports, usually imperial measurements, pounds, are used to measure the weight of your trigger pull. Don't ask me why, it's just the way it is. All right, make sure your device is zeroed and slowly pull back on the trigger until it fires the bottom barrel. This should fire at around three and three quarter pounds. There's three and a half, three and three quarter, nearly exactly. Do it a second time, just as a check. It won't be exactly the same, but it should be pretty close. So let's try it once more. So, there's two, two and a half, three, three and a quarter, three and a half, three and three quarter, nearly exactly. Pretty consistent trigger pull. You might want to check the top barrel. So we'll put two snap caps in. Fire the first one, so the second one's now ready to fire. Inertia triggers, so you need recoil from the bottom barrel to get the top barrel ready. The top barrel will always be more, probably up to a pound more. So there's three and a half. That's where the bottom barrel would have fired. We're up to four and a half, just over four and a half. So it's three and three quarter and four and a half. So what's considered to be the right trigger pull? Anything around three and a half pounds is considered pretty normal on a competition shotgun, plus or minus half a pound, with the top barrel generally being half a pound to one pound more than the bottom. Over the years, I've tested many of my competition shotguns at various stages and have been surprised at how heavy the trigger pulls have become. By heavy, I'm talking five to six pounds, but to be honest, I've never noticed a thing wrong. I think lighter trigger pulls can become a bigger problem than and heavier ones, particularly when you're under pressure and are inclined to hold onto the trigger a little bit tighter. Pulling the trigger in a shotgun does not require a precise movement like rifle and pistol shooters do. I think the issue you need to be aware of when your triggers get worn is a term that's called creep. Creep is the dragging of the mechanical sears instead of a quick, sharp engagement when the trigger is pulled. Don't confuse creep with a little bit of movement that most shotguns will have. This is a shotgun that's long overdue for a service. And you can see once the trigger starts to be engaged, it will slide. That's a great example of creep. And that's a shotgun that needs to go to a gunsmith. Here it is again up close. So at about three pounds, it engages the sears, but doesn't release and then you can see it drag. It's nice to know your trigger weight, but don't stress if they're a little heavy. Hopefully they're consistent and have no drag, but if you have a little bit of creep, it's a really simple fix. Just a reminder, our online coaching course, the A to Z of shotgun shooting is now available with the bonus of ongoing free online coaching for life for those that purchase the course. You can check the details on our website at goshooting.com.au. I hope this little piece of advice helps and I look forward to seeing you at a go shooting range again really soon.